Other guy who's coming in at this time is Terry Gordy, but he's arriving here as the executioner under a mask, yeah. and he'll be carrying an axe and teaming up with Mankind yeah. and Paul Bear. Uh, I know that your pal, Jim Duggan, is, was really, really close with Terry. How was your relationship with him? It was good. We, we spent some time together in Texas and Louisiana, and uh, we were friends. At that time, he just wasn't the Terry Gordy that everybody knew. He had had that accident on the plane, Mm -hmm. and he was just a little off mentally, you know? Um, I've heard Michael Hayes said that when that happened, that when Terry came back, he didn't know what he used to do. So he watched tapes. Wow. To relearn his wrestling. Wow. And there's only one problem there. The tapes he was watching were, you know, 15 years old. Okay. And my God, he was rip snorting and, you know, a kick ass guy. Then he, he was too much. You know, nobody could stay with him, man. He was a natural. And, uh, so it was hard to hold on to him, man. Because he'd just go. Not quite the same performer. And it's evident, you know, as, as he's arriving here. And, yeah. you know, a rumor has it that it was a, a favorite to Michael Hayes, who was working behind the scenes yeah. of the company at the time. Um, I mean, not quite the same Terry Gordy of old. Did you feel like there no. was still a place for him in the WWF? Or was it time for him to I hang it up? I didn't, th- I didn't think he'd last long, man. I, don't, I couldn't see him traveling. Or doing any of that because you gotta, you know, you gotta be on your toes when you're traveling, man. You gotta make airplanes. You gotta figure things out. There's a lot, of, lot, lot to do on the road. And I just didn't think he could mentally. He had the mental capacity at the time to do all that. That did prove to be and, the case. He wasn't there long. Yeah, no, he wasn't. 